Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to be going over my winners and losers of the 2023 NCAA Tournament. So before I start, uh, obviously I'm sure you guys have noticed that I'm not in my usual spot. That is because we're having renovations done there. So I'll be here for about the next week, so sorry if anything looks or sounds weird. But uh, getting into my winners, my first winner in no particular order, we've got the New Jersey schools, Princeton and FDU. So both are tremendous tournaments for Princeton. They were a 15 seed that made it to the Sweet 16. And for the second straight season, a 15 seed from New Jersey made the Sweet 16 last year with St. Peter's. And also for the third year in a row, a 15 seed made it to at least the Sweet 16. As in 2021, Oral Roberts made the Sweet 16 last year. St. Peter's went to the Elite Eight and now Princeton to the Sweet 16 this year. For FDU, they won only one game, but they beat Purdue, who was a one seed, and they became just the second 16 seed ever to beat a one seed, joining UMBC, who beat Virginia. My next winner is five seeds. So there's usually at least one 12 over five upset in the, in the first round of the tournament. This year, that didn't happen, as every five seed won their first round matchup as San Diego State beat Charleston, Duke knocked out Oral Roberts, Miami beat Drake, and St. Mary's beat VCU. Now, aside from avoiding upsets, five seeds also made up half the Final Four, with San Diego State and Miami both being five seeds. And we even saw a five seed in the national title game with San Diego State uh, against UConn, although San Diego State ended up losing. But overall, a really, really good tournament for five seeds overall. And when you look at all four teams of ever seed, I think the five seeds had the best overall tournament. So they're a big winner of this year's uh, of this year's tournament. Next winner, we've got FAU. So they were a surprise team. There was a lot of surprise teams this year, but they were the true Cinderella team. They made the Final Four from being a nine seed and only lost on a buzzer beater. Now, they also became just the fifth the fifth team ever to make the Final Four the same year they got their first tournament win. And Florida Atlantic didn't only have a great tournament, but they capped off a fantastic season with a fantastic run in the tournament as they finished their season with a record of 35-4. and four. And Florida Atlantic is also in a great position moving forward because they bring back 12 of their 13 players next season as they head to the American Athletic Conference. The next winner is UConn, probably the most obvious one. They won the national championship. They solidified their status as a blue blood, and they were dominant throughout the entire tournament as they won every game by double digits as they beat Iona by 24 in the first round. In round two, they knocked off St. Mary's by 15. In the Sweet 16, they beat Arkansas by 23. In the Elite Eight, they beat Gonzaga by 28. And in the Final Four, they beat Miami by 13. And in the championship game, they beat San Diego State by 17. So, uh, UConn, definitely the best team in the tournament. Obviously, they ended up winning the national championship. But they were consistently dominant throughout the entire tournament and a big winner after some rough seasons in the previous uh, few years. And my final winner is the Big East. They had a great tournament as a conference. They had the best record of any conference with more than one team as their record was 12-4. and four. They also had the champion UConn, and they had two teams in the Elite Eight with UConn and also Creighton. So the Big East is my final winner. Getting into the losers, I've only got two losers. They were uh, pretty hard to to come up with for me, but let me know if I missed any winners or losers in the comments below. But uh, my first loser is one seeds. I think a pretty obvious loser of the tournament. They had a terrible tournament. Purdue lost in the first round to FDU. Uh, Alabama lost to San Diego State in Sweet 16. Houston also lost to Miami in Sweet 16. Uh, and Kansas lost to Arkansas in the second round. So for the first time ever, there was an Elite Eight without a one seed. And overall, a very bad tournament for the four one seeds. And they're definitely the biggest loser of the tournament. And my other loser is Arizona. So they were a team with expectations for a deep run. They were a two seed, but they were upset by Princeton in uh, the first round. They were one of my winners before. And uh, that marks the second season in a row that Arizona disappointed in the tournament. As last year, they only made it to the Sweet 16 as a one seed. So those are my winners and losers of the 2023 NCAA tournament. Let me know if I missed any in the comments or if you think uh, some teams should or shouldn't have been uh, on my list. But I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I do my best to post as often as possible. And I will see you in the next video.